So Rise Records is doing something really cool right now. Welcome to the Vinyl Files, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always on the lookout for records that I listened to when I was a teenager so I can complete the physical manifestation of my middle school iPod. And if you were a teenager in the 2000s or the 2010s that had like weird long hair or yell at your parents that it wasn't just a phase, this is probably for you too. Well, it was announced a little bit ago that Rise Records was reissuing some of their old catalog. So we have stuff like Of Mice and Men, Attack Attack, and I couldn't be happier because I loved those albums when I was younger, and I still do. But now alongside that, we're also getting some test pressings from that time period. So not only are we getting Someday Came Suddenly by Attack Attack, but we're also getting a test pressing of Attack Attack self-titled, and that is so cool. That's a piece of history right there. I've never really been like a test pressing collector. I understand the appeal because it's like first in line to touch the master, so it's like as uncolored by time as possible. I mean, it's cool. Like this right here, Attack Attack self-titled, this is two of 10. Um, the current bid is $275 from Randy Rutherford, who just jumped the gun on everybody. We go from 75 to 85 to $275. Okay, Randy, we see you. But my point being, there's a huge backlog of records from bands that I love. So we're going to be taking a look at that today, and you might just find something that you need. As always, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. What are you going to pick up from this list? And don't forget to subscribe to The Vinyl Files and join The Vinyl Cult. So first off, we have If You Were a Movie, This Would Be Your Soundtrack by Sleeping With Sirens. This is a test pressing. The current bid is $85. We have a test pressing of Of Mice and Men, The Flood. Every day I tell myself I'm going to be a better person by Misser. Miss May I, apologies for the week slash monument. We have a test pressing of Dance Gavin Dance's self-titled album. We have a test pressing of Dance Gavin Dance's artificial selection. That would be cool to pick up. And of course the test pressing of Attack Attack self-titled, which I would love to have, but honestly I would just really like to have that album on vinyl because that is such a great album. I really, really like that one. I don't get me wrong, Someday Came Suddenly was is great, but that one is much heavier. Of course, the entire Dance Gavin Dance catalog on Picture Disc, though hopefully those do get a regular color pressing soon because I'm I've never I've just never been a big fan of picture discs, but that's just me. And now getting into the reissues that they've been doing. So we have Seven Dust, Kill the Flaw, Blood Red, Miss May I, Monument Silver, Kubli Khan, Absolute Ultra Clear Vinyl, Of Mice and Men, Self-Titled, which that album was the first one that I discovered from them. I want to say it's their first, but that album rules. That one is so good. Make Them Suffer with Worlds Apart. Attack, Attack, This Means War. I think they just sold out of their old stock of this one and just restocked it again so there you go and then attack attack someday came suddenly which i actually picked this one up because i like i couldn't i couldn't not i've been looking for that one for a while and it's been a long time since it's been pressed and i love that album hot water music exister palisades with outcasts and kubli khan with nomad so they have a bunch of stuff that they just re-released and I have it on good authority that they're going to be re-releasing some more stuff as well soon. So be on the lookout for that and yeah, get, get what you need because I am kind of flabbergasted by the price of a lot of Rise Records is like used stuff on Discogs right now. I get it if people want it and they're willing to pay that for it, then good on you. But I just can't justify spending $200 on a copy of Mothership by Dance Gavin Dance or $150 on a copy of Attack Attack self-titled. Like it, it's just it's just not something that I'm going to do anytime soon. Hopefully Considering these test pressings that we were looking at, as well as the ones from last week, we like these will be repressed. I don't know if these are original test pressings or if these are like new ones. And if they're new ones, then that's cool because that means that there's some stuff that's going to be coming out that 
uh, has not been pressed in years, like plagues by the Devil Wears Prada. It's been a couple of years since that has had a proper pressing. And just go check out Rise Records' website. There's always cool stuff on there. I don't, I know they don't need me to plug them. I'm not sponsored by them, but it is just like really cool to see like that this stuff is getting restocked because I'm such a fan of the music and I want to have it in my hands. So be sure to comment down below. What are you going to pick up? Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Vinyl Cult, and I'll see you next time.